In this video, we're going to talk about how to increase voter turnout. Done well, done with precision, it is your key to victory. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Stick with me till the end because I got a free gift for you. A get out the vote message starts with a compelling message. It starts with the kind of advertising you do. It starts with the database that you have that allows for precision targeting. It starts with how you frame the choice in this election. I'm going to explain how you use all of those to increase voter turnout in your election campaign. Let's start with your campaign message. It is impossible to get people to the polls if they're not motivated by anything that you have said in your message. So no GOTV operation is complete without a compelling reason for people to go vote for you. So part of your message, if you've seen any of my videos on how to develop a message, is getting to a point in a campaign when you define the choice, when you're talking about your agenda, it's why you are the better candidate than the person running against you. It's what voters get by voting for you that they will never get if they vote for your opponent. There has to be some motivational nature to your message, and that's the way you make that a compelling reason for people to go vote in your message is they're not going to get what they want if they vote for your opponent. That is the first and most vital component of a good GOTV operation. The second piece of this is how you advertise that message and how you frame that choice to different segments of the electorate. So let's say this. Two parents with kids in a school in a wealthy suburban neighborhood, you don't want to hit them with a message that you might send to an inner city neighborhood where people live in poverty. So when I say precision messaging, precision targeting, break your messages up where you paint the stark choice depending on who you are running against. The either or, the black and white, the good, the bad. Two, how do you frame that choice to different segments of the electorate? And how do you get them that message? Is it Facebook? Is it YouTube? Is it direct mail? Is it some other form of advertising? But that is also a key to getting out the vote because in the end, when you send volunteers to knock on their doors and say, hey, this is election day, you want to have been there with your messaging before them so that they're motivated to listen to the person asking them to go vote. I'm also going to talk about other uses of this database and other information that you should have in your database that allows for precision targeting. It's not just a way to reach them with a static ad on Facebook. It's not just a way to reach them with a 20-second video on YouTube that gets them the message that in order for you to really increase voter turnout, you need individual contact with voters. Now, knocking on their door is just one of the ways to do that. But if you have a good database and you have their landline phone, you can talk, call them on the telephone and talk to them personally about why it's important that they vote. You can even ask them if they need a ride to a poll. If you have a cell phone number, you can text them to remind them that election day is coming and that they face this stark choice. You can even ask them for money if you have them on your cell phone list because that enables you to text people. If you have their email address, it's yet another way to get a message in front of their eyeballs. These are tools that you need and it's why you need a good database if you're serious about our increasing turnout in an election. Now, all of them work together. All of them kind of go hand in hand. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Do all of it. And the final thing here is that I would mention the penultimate of get out to vote operations is having a volunteer that knocks on their door, 
who asks them a few questions, who solicits some information, somebody who's in charge of reminding them the day before the election, that tomorrow is election day, calling them on the morning of election day and making sure that they have voted, offering them a ride to the polls if they need one because your mission here in a get out the vote operation is to get warm bodies to the polls. The final thing I'm gonna mention in this video is something that's happened in politics in the last four years that really changed the way we do get out the vote operations. There used to be a day when everybody went to the polls on election day and it was a one day sale for political candidates. All the marketing was geared to that period leading right up to that one day when everybody went out and voted. When COVID came along, we made it easier for people to vote. And it is easier now for people to vote by mail than it has ever been. Most jurisdictions now start what we call early voting, which generally begins two to three weeks before election day, where people, if they know they're gonna be out of town, can go, go vote at a location convenient to them. It just gives them a chance to get something out of the way that they don't have to do on election day. Here's the truth, any candidate running for election now faces three elections. When do the mail ballots go out? You need to know that because that minute that ballot hits their mailbox, election day starts for them. And that is a group that you need to target with get out the vote operations early on because they're going to start voting the minute they get that ballot. And they haven't voted until you've seen proof from the Board of Elections that their ballot has been received. After that, you can quit bothering them about getting their mail ballot in. You also need to target in that period when early voting starts. You need to remind people that early voting has started and target that to the people that you want to vote because if they do that early voting early, it's less work that you have to do on election day. And then finally, election day is its own can of worms. I think I mentioned previously, you really want to be in touch with them the day before so that they know that the election day is tomorrow, but you want to contact them repeatedly throughout the day, have people at polling places that can let you know who's voted so that you can continue contacting those who have not right up until the 11th hour of election day. This is how you do a great get out the vote operation. Got any questions? Leave it in the comments section. I do get back to people who leave questions there. I also mentioned that I have a free gift, how to create a compelling campaign message. There's a link to that in the description of this video. It will help you with the messaging that you need to get your voters motivated to go vote for you.